tell you super boy can you say something on back before we get to it make sure you like comment, subscribe as you always watch for video so it appears that Regina and her boo are no longer together. They unfollowed each other on Instagram and Regina went on to Twitter to tweet N words are trash, LOL and B words will be the bin. Now Amar and <laughs> FOE are being exposed by a YouTuber. She first went on to Instagram to put out her messages with Amar. Then she went on to YouTube to post a video. In this video, she was claiming that Amar stated a crazy ex came to his house and tried to get in. That's when he called her up. Like whatever, I'm just like him say what he got to say. So he ain't tell me the girl, he ain't tell me who it was. But as he was so the majority to me, it sounded like it was his ex or whatever. I don't know if it, I know it's not his ex because I know it's not his ex. Like she, she said it wasn't her, so it wasn't her. So yeah, I'm guessing I don't know who the girl was, but it was a girl that wasn't even in front of his crib, and he was like, she had to get away from my in front of my house or whatever because I told someone else. Mind you, y'all, if we're on the phone with each other and you're calling me to tell me these things or this girl's in front of my crib and she's not leaving me, um, she got to get away from in front of my crib because I'm talking to somebody else, that's giving, if we're on the phone, that's giving you're talking about me. Because you're not going to call me and tell me she didn't get from in front of my crib, I'm talking to somebody else. If you're not talking about me, right or wrong. So my dude, he's like, I don't know, I'm waiting for my niggas to come, Jazz. He was talking about Jazz and Jordan, because when we was on FaceTime, I told Jazz and Jordan pull up. This is why people were, uh, I don't want to, I don't I was gonna say this is what this is why people were, you know, who got who got something going, like you know, who, who got motion, who names can trend like this. Don't date people who don't have nothing going. I was saying that she don't get that. I don't know her from the candy paint. But if it wasn't for this moment, I wouldn't knew her. And it's like this moment is not a uh, something that needs to be exposed. That man is single. Who cares? Who cares? That, that, I just don't get what was, what was the purpose of this. So he was like, I'm gonna put it back because my niggas are here. So he hung up and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I just woke up, I'm confused. So I call him back like a minute or two later because I'm just like worrying. So recently Amar put up a video trying to get his ex Maya back. Now, so this girl actually hit up Maya and let her know what was stated to her by Amar. She goes on to say, when he was talking to Jordan, he said my ex B word be tweaking. So that's why I thought you was the last B word boo, but heard ya. Then Maya responds with, my crazy and delusional days been over love. It's so many of y'all to know Amar is to know he gonna say and do what he want. Just have fun with him. Then she stated, I hear you. Then she says, I wasn't coming off as crazy. I just wanted to know, but be good love. So I'm definitely thinking this was a girl that Amar may have been casually conversing with. And of course, she's trying to get her name out there. So she's putting out all of these texts and these messages between she for sure chocolate uh, conversation right here. We're like, this is thirsty as hell, bro. Like, no matter what he told you, like, I don't know. Like, it's still, it's not a situation where, I don't know. It, like, if he would have said, I guess if he would have said, hey, my crazy ass was talking about you. She want to run your fade. She want to run your hands. She said this about you. She said this. And he told you, even though that's that's pillow talking. But if then, in that moment, if, if he told you, then all right. You didn't DM her. What's going on? He said it. But for the people, bruh. <laughs> people, bruh. Yeah, bruh. I'm glad. I'm glad I just did the reaction part because, bruh, you couldn't, bruh. It'd be if, if I was the person who had to bring the the tea to the internet, a lot of y'all tea wouldn't be making it because I would look at that like, man, you don't get the body here. 
between her and Amar. But this definitely doesn't look good for Amar, especially if he's trying to get Maya back. I mean, I do believe these YouTubers need to be a little bit more careful with who they're talking to because, Facts. of course, everyone is going to try to get clout off of their names. Facts. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now, Carmen recently put out a statement pretty much confirming that she has split up with Corey yet again. Well, Corey was on live yesterday and he spilt a lot of tea. He even spoke on the Jennifer situation and her alleging that he cheated on his wife with her. Now, this is what Corey had to say. It sounds like he's saying that Carmen has been lying to everyone about everything. Shit, so now it's time for me to really let shit be known what it is. See, I'm dealing with a compulsive liar. I'm dealing with a manipulator. I'm dealing with, uh, I'm dealing with a, with, with, with a lost situation, right? And it's crazy because y'all can see how serious this is. This, why I don't, it, like, this ain't even for the entertainment. This for me to finally move on because it's like, all right, cause fuck that shit, gang. You got to do what you got to do, boy. If you don't do what you got to do, this shit here, it go, you going to keep looking crazy, my boy. So it's like, you might as well just go ahead and dead this shit, my boy. Because if you don't, nigga, you, you know you, you keep trying. You keep trying to do the right thing. You keep doing it. But, like, you see that, you know, a person is a problem. So it's like, you got to be the bigger person. Exactly. Thank you. Corey, you know, you got, so thank you. I got to be the bigger person. So it's like, okay. I'm like, all right, fuck it. At this point, cause you got to be the bigger person and move according to like what you, you stand on. And that's how I'm doing this shit. So it's like, a lot of the stuff that has been on the internet, man, that y'all haven't been seeing from another side have been straight lies. All right. And I got all the proof to prove everything from day one to where everything started. So y'all gonna really be able to sit here and y'all go see like how a person was bold faced just lying to y'all about everything. Now on my end, I ain't condone this shit because it's like I don't got time to keep lying. I'm, I like you know ain't no need to lie. To like, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being real with y'all. Like, this is me talking. This is like, if I was talking to y'all, I'm like, bro, why lie about, like, why lie about everything? You feel me? Like, you ain't doing. Why, ex why expose everything? What are you get? What are you gaining from this, bro? Corey, the internet look at you as a, 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 a how you say it? A, I can't even say it. You're a liar. You manipulate and you're a cheater. You're a dog. That's how the internet looks at you, my boy. Like, especially when it, when it comes to these females. Yes, a lot of them might still be, might, you know, play a role, still might be, hey, not saying that they not going to want you, not saying that they not going to want to deal with you, but as far as the internet goes, that's how you are looked at. Nothing you can do or say is going to make Carmen look as bad as you. If anything, people are still going to say, yeah, she was done for going back, but for the most part, it's sad. It's sad. You cannot say anything that will make her look as bad as you. Nothing. I mean, probably if you said if you had a brother and you went and you said she went and smashed my brother, then all right. But then again, <laughs> but then again, it's gonna be like you cheated so many times. So what? <laughs> That's still yeah, how the internet is gonna look at it. So this you doing this this pointless. But create a whole nother can of worm that you're going to eventually have to open. If you just be real and you just be truthful and tell the truth the first time, you ain't got to worry about going back trying to cover no lies. Now, y'all been lied to so bad. <laughs> and the crazy part about it is by a person that y'all was rhyme for so hard. Think about it now. Now, y'all were going against a person because of what y'all seeing. And all y'all emotions being played with, you feel what I'm saying? Everybody think this, that, that, and that when it's not. You feel me? But I'm going to tell y'all something. The whole entire time, y'all are being lied to. Like, dead ass. Because What's the lie? What's the lie, my boy? Tell us, please. Me, as a man, I'm going to be real with y'all. And I need every other man to listen to this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might take this. Y'all can take it however y'all want to take it. But you either can get this game or you or you either can just let this game get ran on you. And you will eventually find out your damn self. <laughs> eventually. It's like, 
Yo, no matter how much, you know, you fuck with someone, you know, it's like, as a man, bro, you can't let a person make you lose yourself because you're trying to help find a lost person. No matter how bad you want to help find a lost person. I go for everybody in general, not just a man. You can't. Stay and try to help a lost person find a lost person if that lost person don't want to help find themselves. Because you eventually going to lose yourself trying to help this lost person that you're trying to help, but they don't want to help themselves. you going to let them help you make you lose yourself. Facts. Facts. One thousand percent. And like, this ain't nothing for nobody to bash anybody. It's just real life shit. But it's like, I see now that, all right, well, fuck it. Somebody got to speak up and be the bigger person because at the end of the day, it's like so many lies have been told to y'all. And it's like now people looking and confused and they're like, in order for me to even move in my life with my. He said, he said what the lies was. And now he said, he's saying her lies are holding him back. This boy just talking. My career, I got to let shit be known for what it really is so I can move the fuck on. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, at this point, I ain't going to keep going on the road. You know what I mean? So, all I'm saying is this right here. Y'all y'all can really even pay attention and see that I'm really not even saying too much. Because I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying my best to really like, you know, do this shit so mature because I ain't even trying to go down the road no more. But it's just the fact that it's like, all right, hey, well, look. I'm gonna just go ahead and put my my opinion out on this situation because it's like I'm mature now. He's like I don't. He sound like you know you know you know how you see them uh them YouTube ads and it's talking about how, how to uh how to sell something, how to get some money for something, and they give you like a whole two three minute ad and then like, but you gotta click the link at the end in, in order for you to, to to get this package. This how he talking right now. We're like I, like he want to say something, but he ain't gonna say what he wants to say. He's just ranting right here, bro. I learned so much shit over the last past few months, bro. It's like, nigga ain't got time to keep going through the same shit, bro. You feel me? It's like, hey, we grown the hell over here. Real life shit going on out here in the real, bro. It's like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, somebody got to grow the fuck up, dog. Like, real shit, bro. And it, it gets, certain stuff just get draining because once you go through something the first time, when you're going through it, it ain't going to hold you. You really don't see how draining it is because the moment you're going through it, it just keeps happening. But when you turn around, bro, and you look back, bro, at a lot of the shit that you go through, you'll realize how draining it was and you learn how to move different from it. All right? That's life. And on my end, it's like, I'm on this bitch being... As vulnerable, trying to just be as as smooth as I can. But bruh, vulnerable? I can't keep doing this shit when I don't be able it like it, it's it's like it's <laughs> uh only if y'all just knew the real like if y'all could just like it's like only if I could just be he told y'all he's not for this this is he just ranting, bruh. He just ranting. Like just Understood, bro. I swear on everything I love. I cannot deal with this shit, bro. So it's like now. So okay, so it's like now. Hold up. Let me let me let me tell y'all. He ain't said like nothing, so weird, bro. Too, bro. He ain't broke down nothing. He ain't said, hey, she said this and this is what was going on. This was happening, but this was really going on. This is like the YouTube ads, bro. You want to you want to do this? You want to do that? You want to do this? But you gotta click this link in order to find out what it is. He ain't. This is buzzing rant. Yeah, cause I, I I'm ready to see. Cause I'm ready to see how they go play out. Because a a motherfucker is so manipul manipulative, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all. This shit's so crazy. <laughs> uh, bro, this is so crazy, bro. But still I ain't said nothing. <laughs> All right, man, y'all. Just, it's just so fucking crazy, bro. I need some real niggas in the live, bro. <laughs> I need some real niggas in the live. Because it's like... Black men, black men get high blood pressure easy, so stop stressing. Well, I'm not stressing, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Listen, listen to me. 
let me just be real with y'all. Don't take this as me stressing. It's just like, I'm really just like, okay, well, let me be vulnerable with my supporters because it's like, bro, I'm finna move on, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all finna be seeing Corey stress-free, living my life. You feel me? It's like, because I know what's going on behind closed doors. Don't nobody know what's really going on behind closed doors. So it's like the fact that I know the real and I'm dealing with this shit and I'm still seeing like all the fuckery that's going on. It's like, all right, you know what, bro? I'm like, you know what? I pray to God. Hey, God, you know what? Like, I'm going to let God handle this. I'm going to move. I ain't finna stress. I ain't finna be over here to put myself in the pressure. Like, hell no, nah, you know what? Fuck that man up. Boss up. Get your shit together, nigga. Focus on just bending your life. And you know what I'm saying? Just leave it at that. That's stressing my boy. That's hurt right, right there. Because I told myself, I told myself the same thing when I got <laughs> when we have, me and my first love broke. I told myself the same thing. We gonna boss up. We gonna flex up. We gonna show her what she missing. That's what she doing right now, bro. But it's like I gotta be vulnerable with my supporters because it's like, damn, bro. I don't not want to deal. When y'all see my next few, the way I'm finna move after my birthday, bro. Like at the end of the month, and and, and, and like me living my life, cause I don't want nobody come to me talking about some. You feel me? Because, like, Corey to try his best. Only God knows, you feel me? Like, I'm a real nigga, bro. I sat here, I admit it to a lot of the fuck up that I've done because at the end of the day, I'm human. Who the fuck don't fuck up? Who don't make mistakes? And fuck saying mistakes. Who don't make bad choices? Who don't think selfish sometimes? Who don't go through shit? Everybody do. So I ain't even sit on the internet and make myself feel bad because of the shit that I've done in my life as a human being, and I learn from it because everybody want to judge me. Fuck that. Y'all can suck my dick. I don't give a fuck. Because every last one of y'all, everybody in the world is doing something, and that is not right, my nigga, on everything. You know that you're doing it wrong, and you got to learn from it. Straight up. So I have come to the point where I have admitted it. It's like, I get it, bro. It's like, okay, well, I get it. I, I, I learned from it. I'm not doing the same shit. So you can't judge a nigga for some shit he did that he learned from and he not doing it no more. You so miserable, you're pointing at something old because you can't find nothing new to talk about. It's like, God damn. You, you keep wanting to bring up old shit, but is he? Is the old shit happening right now? No. Hell, he, he... Nah, it don't, sadly, it, it don't work that. Yes, we would all want that, especially when, when it comes to a relationship. If, you, if something happens, we would all hope and wish that, hey, no, if you gonna forgive me, you gonna you gonna say that. Hey, hopefully you know you can you can leave this a hundred percent alone and let it uh, let it go a hundred percent. But it don't work. It don't work like that, bro. Some things are just too, especially when, when you get betrayed by somebody that you never, never, never thought would do it. That's crazy, bro. It's it's not like somebody like all right, some random some random person. This is your love. This is your heart. This is the love of your life. They betray you. That's a different type of betrayal right there, bro. Versus. Somebody down ice. Right, so they say, all right, after the first love, the, you know, the ones after that, you already got, you know, you already got your, your slight trust issues. Your trust, I can't even get it out. That's crazy. Your slight trust issues. So, therefore, if they do something, it hurt, but it don't hurt as much as, you know, it did when you when it first, first happened. That first love betrayal, ain't no comeback from that, bro. Ain't no comeback from that. That's why. That's why y'all in the position that y'all in now because you did what you was doing, she did what she did, you did what you was doing. After that, it's no, ain't no, ain't no getting back, bro. Trust is something that that's slightly, slightly, easily earned, but once you break it, it's over. And be real, he actually became a better person. So why the fuck y'all still worry about the old shit? Like make it make sense, bro. Like damn. Like, I understand if I still was on the shit. So, me, I'm sitting here, and I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. Watch this. Mark my word. Do what y'all going to see. Y'all going to see a motherfucker get on this internet. And, and it's so funny because it's the same ones that, that claim when they keep coming on, on, on there and say that they not going to explain themselves. They're not going to do this and do that. But turn around and do exactly that <laughs> on the internet. Rather than having the conversation in person, gang. It's like... Be a dog. Can we talk like a human being? Like motherfuckers don't want to communicate, but we'll go to the internet and say everything that they haven't said none of you about. And, and you like, what the fuck is it coming from? 
<laughs> like, yo, it's like you can't, I, I, I just can't constantly deal with that type of shit. I'm too grown for this shit, bro. Like, hell nah, bro. And you can go to the internet and talk to a whole bunch of motherfuckers who bash you. They don't give a fuck about you, cuz. And you can't even open your mouth up and really get to the bottom line with the person who's in your face asking you, like, hey, communicate. Tell me what's going on. Let's talk. Like, they get to the bottom of this. Oh, good. Ain't nothing going on. But then they not turn around. I want to commit suicide. What the flying fuck? <laughs> You just, you, that is that is true on on that aspect. Yes, but it, it is crazy that this is the person who caused, at least from the outside looking in, ninety five, at least 95 percent of the damage that happened in in, in a relationship. So therefore, <laughs> yeah, like you want her to be vulnerable and open up to you about you know when you doing certain things. Yes, but it's like bro, like I don't know, like when you when you in a relationship and multiple things happen. Y'all done broke up and then things that happen again. Y'all done broke up. Things happen again. It's like, bro, at this point, when you ask me what's wrong, I don't know what you want to speak. I don't know what you want to tell you. It's a lot of things. Where do, where do I start? You feel me? Like, where do I start? Like, I'm so, I'm so confused on that. But I feel you, though. Communication is key. Like, whether y'all stand together or y'all breaking up, communication is key. If y'all finna break up, let it be known. Don't drag it out. Don't beat around the bus. This is hopefully, you know, try to get to the point. Where this was wrong. This is what I feel like we need to do. What? <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. It, it, it just, you know, it might seem cool to y'all and that shit might make sense to y'all, but it just don't over here, bro. It's like that shit fucked up. It's like, I'd rather, I'd rather you keep it real with me, so. I don't know, man. Life, life is life, though, guys. Everything good. It ain't nothing bad. You feel me? It just, it just real, bro. It's like I can't keep faking it. Like, yeah, life is life. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep faking it. I'm not gonna keep faking it no more. I've dealt with the person lying so much, and I just have not been seeing nothing because I'm like, well, okay. You still ain't said. You know nothing. what you're doing or whatever. But it's like it got to the point now where I just feel like a motherfucker just so comfortable with lying. Like it, they, they feel good with it, and you know I just can't. I can't deal with that. I, don't, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like y'all, like y'all might fuck with people so much you don't care about their character. Y'all might not. You might. Oh, I love you so much. You fine with how y'all? Y'all, y'all might do all that, but me, fuck all that, cuz I can't deal with that. You know what I'm saying? That's just me being under with y'all. Like that shit is ridiculous. And then you're lying to everybody you fuck with. Everybody that fuck with you, you're lying to everybody. So you got everybody confused. Just to announce this because you know the T page is always trying to come up with shit. They were like, Carmen found out Corey cheated again, bro. You know because of what, the, what, what Jennifer posted. Bro, Jennifer just came out the blue with that shit. Jennifer just posted that shit because y'all in her DMs and you know what I'm saying. And at the end of the day, if I keep it real with y'all, bro, like I was really trying to chill on Jennifer because I really like kind of like I fought with the girl like genuine. Like, bro, you know, she know that it was never nothing for us to be like, bro, this shit was business. You know what I'm saying? We had fun, whatever. Woo -woo. But now like you're you're doing too much. Like at the end of the day, you really were trying to copy Carmen, bro. She literally, literally you literally went viral because you put a picture up saying you look like her. And then she trying to say that I was been trying to talk to her. Like, bro, I can really show messages, bro. I only hit the girl one time that was to do a video. Then we went to Orlando, we went down to Fort Lauderdale, and we, we we talked again, but I thought they stole my watch. With somebody y'all seen the video, somebody stole my AP. But her and the other girl looked very suspicious, you know what I'm saying? So I walked, I ran down on them in the room. Woo -woo. Trying to see what's going on. They flip. They try to make it like I try to talk to them. Like, bitch, I'm trying to see when y'all stole my goddamn AP that I still ain't got. <laughs> then on top of that, it's like, all right, you know, how can I cheat on somebody that we ain't? Like, it's just weird. But people just be creating drama, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Nobody to fucking cheat, man. But it shit just. It's just weird, bro. I be dealing with some like, bro. I don't know why they even need these people, these people be playing because they know like if if it get down to it, when Corey really get tired, Corey just gonna get on there and tell it all. <laughs> Everybody should know this. No matter how much you like me, you don't like me. It's like, all right, y'all know y'all make Corey mad. Like, he gonna get on that bitch and gonna tell the truth, and the truth is the truth. It, it just simple. Like y'all know that nigga crazy as hell. And and then like because I don't be tripping on a lot of shit, but it's like nah, when, when shit go to get too real, it's like all right, bro. I'm done with the trolling. This is Corey genuine coming like, all right, this is some real shit now. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it, and it ain't, you know, it's just like. Bro, this baby said, y'all know when, when if y'all push him too far, he gonna get the pillow talking to the internet. That's basically what he just said right there. That's, 
that's crazy. And, and like I said, y'all see how before he said Jennifer's name, he was just ranting. Like, acting like he was going to expose something. Like he, he didn't say nothing. But when he got to Jennifer, he tried to break down, like, like how he should have did with the current part. Oh, she said this, and this was, this was what happening. That boy just ranting, boy. He just, he just talking just to talk. He, that's like, hey, I have, I, I've done certain videos like that, too. I'll be so bored. You ain't got nobody to talk to, nothing to do. Let me go make a video just so I can get something off my chest. Let me go do a story time and get it off my chest. He's doing it live. He's ranting, bro.